Manchester United might have finished their US tour for the pre-season, but they haven't finished their pre-season games. We've still got a game coming up against Norwegian team Valerenga in Oslo. We've still got a game against Sampdoria in Dublin. And we've still got the Super Cup against Real Madrid in Macedonia in Skopje. So Man United are still going to be very busy before that game against West Ham to kick off the Premier League season. And that all continues against Valerenga in Oslo. Who will Jose Mourinho play in that team though? Here is my predicted 11 for that game. And in goal, I'm going to start Joel Castro Pereira. He's got some minutes on tour, not that many. David De Gea, obviously an outstanding number one. And for me, Sergio Romero, an outstanding number two. So this seems like the right time to give Pereira some minutes. I also want to see some minutes for Timothy Fosu Mensa at right back. Now, Antonio Valencia, we all know he's our best right back. Matteo Dami can play there as well. But I get the feeling he might be playing left back in the Super Cup final against Real Madrid. And this, this game and the game against Sampdoria are going to be two matches in which Jose Mourinho is trying to figure out his team for that game. Which is why I think we might see Fosu Mensa there. Just so that Mourinho knows he can rely on him at right back. And for me, his performances on tour absolutely mean that he deserves a place in his team. Centre-back partnership, I've gone for Phil Jones and Axel Twanzebe. Now, Phil Jones, for me, out of all of our centre-backs, alongside Eric Bailly, has been the best centre-backs on tour, by and Jones. Smalling, mm, no. And Lindelof looks very, very shaky at the start of his Man United career. Uh, Lindelof, will he be starting the Super Cup final? Would you start him? Let me know in the comments. Eric Bailly, obviously suspended. So Mourinho is trying to figure out his centre-backs. And I think Tuan Zebe deserves an opportunity to play in his preferred position at centre-back. He was our under-18s captain alongside Roshan Williams when those two guys went like 500-plus minutes without conceding a goal at that level. He's played right back for United, he's played defensive midfield. He needs the time to play as centre-back. That is his preferred position. Now, at left-back, I've gone for Matteo Darmian. We all saw Daley Blind against Barcelona. That was a really poor performance from Daley Blind. Somebody who's normally so assured with his passing, so composed in possession, didn't look any of that. And he was so slow coming back from defence that Marcus Rashford ended up having to cover him at left-back on too many times. I don't want to see Blind playing there against Real Madrid. And Luke Shaw's obviously injured. I'm not sure if Mourinho trusts Demi Mitchell enough yet. So let's put Matteo Darmi in there. Let me know what you think about that as a back four. Midfield. Man United really do not have many options in midfield. After what I saw against Barcelona, the concept of Michael Carrick as a single pivot, that defensive midfield role, scares me. He gets outrun. He's leggy. He's not that sort of midfielder anymore. But we don't have any options. Ander Herrera, he might be back from injury, might be back from back in training, but Mourinho is not going to risk him until that Super Cup game. So maybe Andreas Pereira is going to play in that defensive midfield role again. Not his preferred position, but he's actually done quite well in the preseason tour in that role. Now, in front of him, I'm going for Paul Popper as a left central midfielder and Henrik Mkhitaryan as the right central midfielder. Because I feel letting Mkhitaryan operate in that position allows him to run with the ball more. And that's, that, I feel, is where we've seen the best of Mkhitaryan on this preseason tour. I don't know how he's faster running with the ball than without it, but somehow he is, and we've got to make the most of that. Easily the best in possession when running out of defence. And Paul Pop has just been majestic. I want to see more of him. He's going to be so, so good this season. And another good thing about playing Mkhitaryan in that deeper midfield role is it allows us to play Martial out on the left, Lukaku up front, and Rashford on the right. That is one electric front three, front five, if you want to include Pogba and Mkhitaryan. There is goals galore there. There is pace galore. There is counter-attacking galore. It's an exciting front three, an exciting front five. And for me, that's what I want to see against Valerenga, similar against Sampdoria, and I want to see that against Real Madrid as well. We've already beaten them on the preseason tour, the world's worst penalty shootout. But who would you start in your team? Let me know in the comments below. As always, drop a like on the video. Until we see you next time, I'm not sure where, I'm, where am I going to be watching this game. I think I'm going to be in Chamonix in France. There's going to be some strange backdrops, but we're still going to be here, hopefully doing some live match reactions. Not sure whether they're going to be live or not, but make sure you keep checking them out. And as always, subscribe to United People's TVs. See you soon, everyone.